Hi, my name is Lina and I'm a music producer, musician and an educator. I also run a YouTube channel called L and Aiders Audio Stuff, so check that out. Thanks for Splice for asking me here for another video. And in this video, I will show you how to make two genres, lo-fi and house with Beatmaker and Astra. So let's get into it now. So here we go. The first genre is lo-fi. <laughs> this is what we're going to make today using Astra and Beatmaker. Okay, so let's listen a little bit. Okay, so lo-fi usually has some crackles, quite realistic sounding kit. And then usually there's like a guitar or synth loop that is being repeated many times. So we have that as well. And then we're doing this kind of melody bit with the synth on the top of it. A little bit detuned, so it's not perfect. So we're like aiming for perfect, perfect non-perfection. So what first thing we're gonna do is add a beat maker into a MIDI track. Okay, on the beat maker, we're gonna go into the presets. I'm gonna be showing a lot of presets here just because they are really cool. Also, there's gonna be a lot of different presets downloadable from Splice. That's great. There's actually one kit that is called lo-fi hip hop. So I'm gonna go there, but just keeping it chill. So this is what it kind of gives me automatically. So we don't want that. We're gonna clear that and we're gonna build the kit by ourselves. So we're gonna start with the kick. Mm, tch, mm, mm, tch. Very chill, bit hip hoppy. So this is the pattern that I personally feel. So the first beat there, then the third, then one, and then we're gonna get a little bit of customization here, get a little bit of rhythm going. Very exciting stuff. Okay, so the next I want to add a subby kick. So I'm gonna layer this kick with the subby ones. Next, we're gonna add a snare. We can actually go here and pick a preset. So we can go here and go to snare example, and I could just find example two plus four. So that's exactly, so it puts them automatically where I want them. And by the way, what I'm doing here with my mouse is that I'm selecting the velocity of the sound so that they sound a bit more human-like. There's also different types of snare. A little bit darker one there. So I might just go to the uh, other snare, click here and actually change that. I want to use the other one. So I do exactly the same here and I just swap them around. So we get a little bit more interesting snare happening. So the next thing we're gonna add hi-hats and that's a very important so we can get the kind of chill pa, 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 rhythm going on. And again here I can go close hi-hats and then select one that I like. So we now have one that it kind of changes in velocity. What we can always do is also take off some of them. So we are adding some rhythmic changes. So we have actually also noise sound. Add noise sound just for the uh, start of these two bars. So we get that lo-fi vibe going on. And then we have this one. So what I want to do is add one in the beginning of each. We can go to the melody bit. And what I'm going to do is actually go here, all FX. So that's all the FX for this sample itself. I want to kind of correct the pitch a little bit. So I'm going to go and lower it up down. Uh, flanger, I could actually add a little bit more of that. And now example hi-hats are a bit too loud for me. So I'm going to just go here to the hi-hat controls and lower the volume. 
Yes. So that already as itself sounds pretty cool. So what we can actually do is go here and export it. So we can go export, drag MIDI pattern and put that into our session. Okay, so let's go and add another MIDI and we're gonna go and add Astra to its presets again because we love presets. So there is actually one that is keys and it's called Ding Dong. <laughs> there we go. So if I just put here. It just sounds so like crooked and kind of fun. I'm gonna play a little clip. Just long notes this time. Here we go. I want to make it a bit more interesting. So let's just use these controls here. I'm going to go to note sequencer. It really helps us to be creative. So I'm just going to click that on. So we can do that if we like. I want to go for a different rhythm, three eighths. Because one thing with lofa is also that things are a bit in a swing. So also with the gain, I can select when is the note going to be playing. So personally, I want to try this. So now I have figured out a rhythm and what I can do is go here on the top bar and take the brace bar and just limit the, it to be two. So let's just go to the mode matrix. And now we can already see that the matrix has some options there. We can also add stuff just by drag and dropping it into the mode matrix. And we can connect different areas to another areas so that they're affecting, especially envelopes and LFOs are great for that. So as you can see that there, you know, the bend that's happening, that's already because the uh, LFO one, which is this one, is being connected to the oscillator uh, one and oscillator to fine tunes which are here on the top there or I can go to the LFO which is affecting the oscillators and just add a little bit more movement from the frequency which I kind of like and with the little bit of vocals this is what we get Okay, next genre. So this is what we will be creating. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna start house music using Beatmaker. So we're gonna create, and honestly, Beatmaker is so good for house. So there's a couple uh, instruments that are really important with house music. So we have beat, we have a uh, kind of chord progression, or kind of plucky thing, and then we have a solo. So those, if you kind of follow those three elements, you really can't go wrong at all. <laughs> so here we go. So in the actual genre kit, we have deep house kit. And listen to the actual, the, the, the example that's already there. I think it just shows it really well. So we're gonna go into the kick first and we're gonna go kick and then we're gonna select four on the floor. There we go. So we just get mm, 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 mm. Next thing, Im important thing is we're gonna create snare. So the next sound here, we're gonna add that. We're gonna go to snare. And from here, we're gonna add two, four, four. So mm -ch, mm -ch, mm -ch, mm -ch. that's where we get the house rhythm really. Then we're gonna go to open hi-hat here. We can go here, open hi-hats and trails. See? And then we can go hi-hats. So we can go close hi-hats and I'm just gonna go eight. And the volume is quite high on those. So I'm gonna go here and lower the volume a bit. Quite a lot. Uh, while I'm making this, I can actually create variations of everything. So I can export all the different versions while I'm doing. I want this percussion thing. And also there's actually really cool here. I can go to Tom's and add a fill to it like that. 
So I'm going to add that different version there. So then we can also use the different hi-hats to create variation. So we could example go uh, open hi-hats and add threes. Example, and we can go closed hi-hat and add quarters example. Already adds so many interesting patterns here. There we go. So we have now created our uh, rhythm. Okay, let's add Astra. So let's go to plug uh, factory resets. And then from here, we're going to find plug go, 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 here, plug. Can you hear this? This is so good. We can actually now use example uh, the envelope and the LFO. So I would like to, for the filter cutoff, which is this one here, I would like to add LFO. So we can go here. Just to add a little bit of movement. We can add another one uh, envelope also into the filter cutoff. Now let's add Dun, 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 dun. Chord progression. We're going to add uh, a preset because there's so many good keys. Example that one. Get the chord progression going on. So again, I want to create the track first. And in here, again, we can work with uh, envelope to add a little bit of the punchiness. Add swing into the groove. We can, of course, also add Clyde a little bit, that every time it kind of goes to another chord, it goes on a little bit. Filter cutoff is already here, so I could add LFO definitely to it. It made it sound a bit like chai chain. Chai chain. Ducking effect. And we can always add, if we want to, a bass. By the way, I recommend having a look at the appreciated sub presets already in Astra because they're just great. So, example, this one. So, we could always add a little bit of bass to add the movement as well. So macro sequencer, which allows you to uh, play with the macros here. So we can sequence example we have here. Now the rate of the decay. So this control will be changing according to the sequencer. So is it going to be So it adds to the groove of the song. Now we have the final song. and like female vocals on the top of it and like yeah i might need to actually make this a, a full song hey thank you so much for watching and thank you splice for having me here for another video also remember to check out my youtube channel called lna does audio stuff because i do a lot of audio stuff in there <laughs> hope to see you soon again and have a lovely lovely day making lots of beats in different genres Woohoo! bye